Whoa! <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Do you want no. the screen in there okay, too? Okay, maybe it's because I need to turn this thing on actually. Take us out. Say cheese. <laughs> Technology. Can you move? You want the screen on there too, or just Shoga? Just Shoga. Just Shoga. Peace, yo. <laughs> yo, classic. Classic Shoga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll just try it without it and then we'll figure it's it out. It's just later. falling. Very sensitive. Yes. <coughs> okay. And just record. And just hit record, yeah. <coughs> Somebody have a timer on their computer handy. Just looking for five minutes, so. Just give them a heads up and wave to me when uh, we have the five minute mark and then. You nervous, Shogun? Mm -hmm. A little bit. Don't be. That's why I went first. Get it over with. That's why I stayed quiet. I guess quiet. So nervous. So yeah. 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 we almost forgot about you. Yo, just I remember, so we're stoked. your friends. <laughs> yeah, I'm all excited. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Yeah. You're, you're already well, recording. You've been with me for a while. Don't be scared. Oh. <laughs> Okay. I haven't been <laughs> Who said that when you were? Oh, shit. This is. <laughs> okay. okay, you're up. Okay, are you ready? Okay, right. ready? Yep. Go um, ahead. So, for today, my presentation is on Jimmy Town. Uh, we're going to talk on uh, who inspires me. Well, uh, coming into the digital communication media, I've, uh, I started to follow Jimmy Town, and uh, he's, a, he's a really small guy. Uh, you know, he's funny. You know, he's very articulate with, uh, with the things that he says, and uh, he always has a way to just kind of bring serious matters and kind of make, you know, people feel welcome, and he knows how to get the, his message across. So, um, this is, uh, I put the quote there, I switch to communication, which is a ridiculous major, let's be honest. Uh, that's exactly what he said, because he used to be a, uh, he used to be a computer science major, and uh, his words, he said, when it got too hard for him, he switched into uh, he switched into communication, and now it's actually been his biggest accomplishment because now we, you know we all know him as the host of the late night show and the host of the Tonight Show that he took over from Jay Leno. Um, so for me, coming into digital communications, I've just always looked up to him because uh, the path that he followed uh, is kind of what I what I'm looking into going through because. Uh, he started out doing stand-up comedy in uh, in the 1990s, and in the late 19, uh, 1990s, and from there he got a he got a, a guest appearance on uh, on Saturday Night Live, and from there you know they made him into a, a regular cast member. Uh, he took over the the Saturday Night Live uh, news update from uh, Conan O'Brien, and uh, you know. That was actually how his uh, his career in the late night in the late night industry actually started to pick up because you know he went from the news updates to having his own late night show and then taking over for uh, Jay Leno at the end of it right uh, and for me it's very inspiring because that's exactly something that I would love to do eventually you know when I'm a bit older I would love to have my own sit down comedy show that just brings people of all race, age, gender, and just, you know, have them under a roof, and you laugh together, and you just, you know, you talk about regular stuff. Uh, but yeah, so Jimmy Fallon, uh, as I mentioned, his work is, uh, he started off on Saturday Night Live from 1998 to 2004. Uh, he did some comedies, he did some stand-up comedies in between, uh, just not a lot, because by the time he had started, he was able, he got noticed right away and he got on the Saturday Night Live cast uh, like almost immediately. And from there, you know, doing the news updates, went on to late night shows and uh, now from 2014 to, you know, to the end of the world, I would love to see this guy on, uh, on the Tonight Show. Uh, but yeah, 
<laughs> one thing that really inspires me about Jimmy Fallon is how he's very he never takes himself seriously. And in a in this kind of industry where I mean growing up knowing this kind of industry, you're 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 supposed to be serious, you know. People take you seriously if you're very serious, if you take yourself seriously. But he has done the exact opposite, you know. He never takes himself seriously. If you watch his shows, uh, the, especially the, the late night shows that he had, you know, he comes out, there was one that he came out with Tom Cruise, and they had a football, and they were, you know, they were trying to hit each other through a glass. They, they made like a glass frame of each other's face, and they had to try to hit, uh, hit the ball at their faces, which is kind of cool. Uh, I just love how goofy he is, how unserious he is, but at the same time, how he's still able to, you know, to talk about serious issues and be able to take his points across. Um, to me, Jim Fallon represents the brighter side of the of the industry. You know how you know he he takes the he takes the serious stuff, turns it into like a humorous and a funny way for people to be able to kind of uh, relate to people. Who, uh, I mean, for me personally, someone is talking to me and talking down at me. I wouldn't really listen, but if you bring a funny and a bright side to it, I will, you have my undivided attention for sure, right? And that's kind of what I want to do, you know, as I get more experience in this industry. I want to be able to take serious matters. I, I don't want to completely goof it up, but I, I want to be able to get my message across. But at the same time, I, I want people to understand that it's not all, you know, hard work. Well, it is hard work, but it's not all like just serious, you know, people frowning and walking, you know, with their arms to the side. You know, I want people to, to get comfortable, you know, in, in, in an industry like this. I want people to be able to kind of just be themselves, have fun, and just go with the flow. And that's why I picked Jimmy Fallon to be the person that inspires me. All right.